Thanks for joining us today for our science lesson. Everybody say hello. Hello. Let's start with our meditation. We're going to think about our heart center. And two fingers to find our heart center. Very nice. Left hand in our lap. Close your eyes. Feel for boom, boom in your heart center. Move your right hand into your lap when you feel it. Keep your eyes closed. Keep thinking about your heart center. Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One, two, and our last one, three. Slowly start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Slowly open your eyes, and let's begin our lesson. For this lesson, we're going to review our types of soil and also the powers of the sun. So we'll be looking at our soil composition water bottle that we made a few lessons ago. And we'll also be going outside to take a look at our solar box again and talk about the two superpowers of the sun, heat and light. So first let's do a review with our PowerPoint about different types of soil. So first let's talk about our kinds of soil. Soil is like dirt. It's kind of the same thing, and there's different sizes of the little teeny, teeny, tiny pieces of the rocks. So sometimes when we pick up a handful of dirt or soil, we can look at that soil and we can see tiny rocks. We can also, sometimes it just looks like all one color. We can't really see the tiny pieces. It just looks like all one smooth thing. So sometimes our soil has small, small, small rocks, and other times the rocks are a little bit bigger where we can actually see all of those rocks. So let's talk about our different types of soil and how big they are compared to each other. So our first kind of soil sand. is sand. sand. It's sand, yeah. And all of these kinds of soil that we're going to talk about are very small, but out of those very small pieces of soil, sand is our biggest piece of soil. It's our biggest one. If we pick up some sand and we look at that sand, we can see all those tiny little rocks. And we find sand near beaches, sometimes near rivers, or in a desert, or sometimes just in the road with some dirt. We see a lot of sand there. We can see those little pieces of rocks, 
and we can see all the teeny, teeny, tiny pieces of rocks that make up that sand. Our middle size kind of soil is called silt. 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 It's silt. a funny word. <laughs> yeah. And that size is in the middle. middle. It's smaller than sand, but it's not our smallest kind. <laughs> this is the water. Yeah. Yeah, that's the water coming down. So it looks white. And it's going over the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going over the brown rocks, and we can see that water looking white. So sometimes we find silt near rivers or maybe in the rice fields when they have a lot of water in them. So silt is our middle-sized kind of soil. It's a little smaller than sand, but it's not as small as clay. Clay, and clay is our smallest, smallest, smallest kind of soil. If we pick up clay, we can't see those tiny little pieces of rocks like we can with sand or even with silt. Clay just looks smooth because those pieces are so, 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 so small that we can't see the individual pieces. We just see a smooth kind of paste or like mud. So this kind of clay, if we pick that up and look at it, it's just going to look smooth. It won't look like sand where we can see all those little tiny pieces. So clay can be brown, it can be red, it can be orange or gray, and we can use clay to make different kinds of things, like pottery, like this man is making, and we can use it to make bowls or pots or different kinds of containers that we can put things in. So those are our three kinds of soil. When we put all of those three kinds of soil together, it becomes something else. It becomes something else. Raise your hand if you can tell me one kind of soil that we just talked about. What's one kind of soil? Sand. sand. Yeah, sand is one kind of soil that we just talked about. It's our biggest kind of dirt or soil. Can anybody think of another one? Another kind? You know another one? What's another kind? Clay. Clay is our smallest kind of soil or dirt. It's so tiny, it just looks nice and smooth. <laughs> good, good thinking, they all have water in them. What? It's okay, it's a tricky word. Silt is our middle size. So we have clay, our smallest, silt, and sand, which is our biggest. When we put all those three kinds of soil together, it makes a different kind of soil that we have another name for. We call it loam. 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 Yeah, loam is a funny, funny word. It rhymes with home. But loam is all those three kinds of soils together. And we can use it to grow food. We can use it to make roads. We can use it for a lot of different things. So those are our three kinds of soil that when we put them all together, we call it loam. Okay, our three types of soil. We have our teeny, teeny, tiniest type of soil which is clay. It's so small, it just looks smooth. We can't see those individual pieces. Our next biggest one, it does start with an S, but it's silt. 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 And these are getting bigger and bigger. And then we have sand, you're right, sand. <laughs> this is just to give us an idea. They're not really that big, but it just helps us think about the different sizes of the different kinds of soil. So clay is our smallest, teeny, teeny, tiniest. And then we have silt. And then sand is our biggest kind of soil. And these are all different kinds of soil. Soil. We've got our smallest clay, our second smallest silt, the one in the middle, and our biggest is sand. Sand. So let's take a look at our bottle. This is one of our bottles that we had from a few lessons ago, I think lesson 34, where we took some dirt and clay and water and put it in with some water and shook it up, and then we got to see how everything separates out into all these different layers. 
So we've got all these different layers. What's on the top? What's up here? Water. Yeah, that's our water. That's our water. That's the lightest thing. Then if we look at all those different layers, mm-hmm, we've got all that kind of sand together. And it's separated into different parts. So if we have our bottle, yeah, it is a color like loam. We have our water bottle like this. We've got different layers here where the water stops and starts. Then we have some clay, some sand, and at the very bottom we've got some silt, and at the very bottom we've got sand. We've got the biggest pieces that we can see. They're the heaviest, so they go all the way to the bottom. So when we look at our bottle, we can see our sand on the bottom. We see kind of our clay and silt. Sometimes it looks like one, one layer. It's hard to see where one stops and another one starts. Sometimes it looks like the same. But on the bottom, we can see sand. We can see those big pieces of soil. They're big enough that we can see them. Then up top, we've got our water. And our water. And around here, we've got our clay and our silt. So we're going to pass around our water bottle, and everybody can take a look and see all those different layers that we have. We've got some places where we can see the little tiny grains of soil. We've got some places up here where it looks kind of soft and smooth like clay. And we've got different colors. We've got water. So everybody can take a look and water. see. Yeah. Is the water on the bottom? No. No? no? Where's the water? Uh, up. up high on top. Yeah. What about down here? Can you see Good. little tiny pieces of sand? No. No? Are you sure? Can you see little pieces? No. No? What do you think? Can you see some different layers there? Mm, yeah. Yeah. See a lot of different layers. See some different colors. What are some colors you see? This is um, some brown colors. This is sand. Some gray colors. This is sand. This is what? Yeah. Can you see the little pieces of the sand? This sand. Yeah. This you sand. see those little this, tiny pieces? This silt and this clay. Yeah, it's all kind of mixed around a little bit. Small. Mm -hmm. water. Small water on top. Sometimes we can see the little pieces. Yes. See the little pieces of sand? Yeah. yeah. Deep and so small. Yeah, it's so, so small. It looks like one color. Mm -hmm. Those are big ones. You can see those little pieces of sand. Yeah. You can see the different colors, different sizes. Yeah, those are all different kinds of soil. Mm -hmm. This kind is kind of smooth up here. Down here we can see all the little pieces, all the little different colors, all the different tiny little rocks. Mm -hmm. Can you see the tiny rocks down here? Yeah. Clay up top, yeah. Our clay part looks really, really smooth. Our water up top looks pretty dirty. <laughs> and down here at the bottom, kind of on our sand and silt area, we can see some individual pieces of sand. Sometimes it looks all one color where our silt and sand have kind of mixed together. And then up top, we've got a kind of lighter reddish brown color where we can see that it looks so smooth. It looks all like one color. We can't see the little pieces, and that's our clay. So we're going to take a little break to stretch our bodies. Then we're going to talk about the powers of the sun. We're going to do a little stretch break so everybody can stand up. <laughs> going to give our minds a little rest before we talk about our sun powers. So everybody, stretch your arms up high. And stretch your arms down low. Stretch your arms up high. Stretch your arms up higher. <laughs> Stretch your arms down low. Stretch your arms in an X. Stretch your arms in a T. Good job. T -t -t Touch your toes. Down low. Come up halfway. Swing your arms. Pretend they're very heavy. Very nice. Good job. Stand up straight and tall. Put your elbows out. 
And let's twist to stretch our back and our shoulders. Make sure you're not gonna hit any of your neighbors. And stretch out your back. Stretch out your shoulders. Stretch out your arms. Good job, friends. Okay, stand up nice and tall. Show me how you can grow. You start small, you so small. Then you're gonna grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more and grow as big as you can. Okay, get small, let's do it again. Start small in a little ball. Grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more and grow as big as you can. Very nice job. Okay, last time. One more time, get as small as you can in a little ball, a tiny ball, a small ball, a little ball. And you're gonna grow a little bit, grow a little bit more and grow as big as you can. Good job, friends. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Last time, small ball, grow a little bit, grow a little bit more and grow as big as you can. Very nice job, friends. That was our last time. Three claps, three jumps, three steps. Give a neighbor three high fives. <laughs> Good job, let's do three spins around. Ooh. Okay, if you're nice and dizzy, everybody can take a seat. Next we're gonna talk about the sun. The sun, we've talked about the sun. Is the sun big or small? Small. Big. Big. Is the sun close to us or far away? Far. So far away. So, so, so far away. It's very, very far away. Is the sun hot or cold? Hot. Very, very hot. Yeah. Is the sun light or dark? Light. Light. It's very bright. It's so bright. Helps us to see. Good job, friends. You remember a lot about the sun already. So let's go through our PowerPoint and we're gonna think about the two superpowers that the sun has for us. So what is, what's power? Power, what is power? <laughs> like our PowerPoint. Power is also like when you're very strong. Yeah, if you're very strong, you're powerful. If you've got big muscles, you've got a lot of power. If you're very smart, you've got a lot of brain power. So power is something that is very strong. And the sun has two special superpowers. There's two things that the sun has very, very, very strong things of. Heat is one of them. Heat and light. Yeah. And light. Heat and light. The sun gives us a lot of heat, keeps us warm. And the sun gives us a lot of light so that we can see. Pang Pan, what are the two powers of the sun? Heat and light. Okay, good. Keep your eyes up here, my friend, so you know what you're talking about. So just like our superheroes with superpowers, the sun has two superpowers. What are the superpowers of Superman? <laughs> can he fly? No. Yeah. Yeah. Superman can fly, that's one of his powers. What about Spider-Man, what's one of his powers? No. No. Put his no. web up there. No. Yep. So just like Superman can fly, yeah. Spider-Man's power is his web. The sun's two powers are heat and light. Heat and light. Heat and light. Has super light, helps us to see during the daytime. Yeah, it helps, there's a beach there. Helps us to see during the daytime. So the sun has super light for us. Mm -hmm. And the sun also has, it's red, super heat. Has super heat for us. Some days it feels so, so, so hot. Even though the sun is so far away, sometimes it feels so hot. It feels like the sun is close. But it's not close, it's just so strong that even from far, far away, we feel that heat and we see that light. It's so strong. It's so strong. Yeah, if you touch the sun, ooh, that would not be a good idea. 
Yeah, so when we feel that feeling that it's very, very hot, that's the power of the sun, it's heat. We're feeling that heat from far, 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 far away. So strong, we still feel that heat. So far away, but it's so strong, we can still see with that light. So we've got our light from the sun. And heat. And our heat from the sun. Light and heat. Light and heat. Okay. Light. Let's have some friends help us write. Pot, can you come up and help us write? Yep. You're going to come up and help us write. You're going to write one power of the sun for us on the board. What's one power of the sun? Light or heat. So why don't we do heat? Can you help pot spell heat? H. OK, they're going to help you spell heat. H. H. Write it big. Write it big, 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 big. As big as you can. Yeah, there we go. H. What's next? E. E. A. 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 T. A. 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 And, oh, he's going to fix his A. So in that time, we're going to draw a sun. Mm -hmm. These are the powers of the sun. And last letter is T, our friends are telling us. T, T, T. <laughs> yeah, great job. Very nice. We've got heat as one of the powers of the sun. What's another power of the sun? Light. Light. Pong pong, come on up. We're going to help you spell light. We have heat, very hot, and light to help us to see. Okay, friends, help Pong Pong spell light. L. L. Right, big. Big, 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 big. They're going to help you. Ooh, there we go, yeah. I. G. G, like g -g gorilla. H. H. <laughs> Hat. T. T. Get rid of that part. There we go. Oh, that part's fine. You're good. Very nice. There you go. So we have light. And we have heat for our sun. Thank you, friend. Very nice job. Those are the two powers of our sun. We have light to see and heat to help keep us warm. If we didn't have the sun, it would be so cold. It would be so dark that we couldn't live on our planet. So we have to have the sun. The sun gives us light to see and heat to keep us warm. So we're going to spend the rest of the lesson outside with our solar light box that we made in our last lesson. So we're going to have our friends look through that little viewing window one more time, check out our light show. And we're also going to talk about why we feel warmer when we're in the sun or colder when we're in the shade. So this is our box from our solar viewing window. It's been through a lot. We've used it a lot of times, so we've had to repair the top. Our foil's kind of coming off, but it's still, it's still going to work. So we're going to go outside again, and we're going to take a look. Different friends are going to take turns looking through our little window to look at the bottom of the water bottles here. And we're going to put our cups over the top, take them off, and that helps us see the light moving around on the inside. So that's one power from the sun that we get is the light that we can see. And when we go outside, does it feel cold or hot when we go outside? Yeah, it feels, feels what? Hot. Hot. Yeah, it feels hot when we go outside, especially if we go stand with the sun right on our skin. It helps us warm up. On a cold day, it feels really good to go stand in the sun and get the sun on your skin. It helps you warm up. So we're going to spend the rest of our class kind of looking at some of our light shows. We're going to have some friends take turns moving the cup. We're also going to stand in the sun for two minutes and see if we feel warmer or colder. And then we're going to stand in the shade for a little bit and see if we feel warmer or colder. So spend the rest of the class going outside. You can move from the sun to the shade a few times so that you can feel the difference in the temperature and give students another chance to kind of look through the light box. They can play around with the cups and kind of make the cool light shows. And then we'll come back and just do a short review.
Okay, so we have spent a few moments outside, getting warm and getting cold in the shade. We looked at our light box, we saw all the different cool colors moving around, our yellows, our oranges, our purples. When we moved those cups up and down, that helped us to see the light a little bit easier so that we could see it moving and it reflected all the way through our box. So when we look in that box, we can see how the sun's light comes through. So raise your hand if you can tell me one of the sun's powers. What do you think? Sun. Good. What's one of the powers? Uh, light. 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 What's another power? Same time. Heat. 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 Yeah, we have light to see, helps us to see. We have heat to keep us warm, sometimes to keep us very, very hot. Good job. And what about our soil? Can anybody tell me one kind of soil? What? Clay. Clay. Clay is our tiny, tiny, tiniest kind of soil. What's another kind of soil? Sand. Clay is our tiniest. Sand is our biggest. We can pick up some sand and we can see all those tiny little rocks and pieces of dirt in there. Can you think of another kind? Silt. Silt. Silt is right in the middle between tiny, tiny clay and bigger sand. So thanks very much for joining us today for our science lesson. Can everyone say goodbye? Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye.